Hello guys, it's me again, Take That Scroll. Welcome to another video. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please click that thumbs up icon and share this video. That would help a lot in this channel and to make more tutorial videos for you. By the way, regarding all the tools and equipment you see in this video, just check the description below for the link of Amazon UK and Amazon US. On this video, it's gonna show you step by step on how to change thermal pads, thickness of thermal pads, how to change the fan, and how to clean the fan and heat sink. Okay, let's begin the tutorial. First, I'm using a Phillips screw or VH0 screw bits and wall stick electric screwdriver and a Phillips screw which is equivalent to VH0. Okay, first you have to remove 12 screw from the back plate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, that's 12 screw off. Lift up the back plate. Ah, oh, one more. Lift up the back plate. Back plate is plastic, not metal. Next step is to remove four screw that attach to the GPU chip and this two big screw. lift up the PCB but be careful because there's a three connector for the wire for the fan and LED on the on this side and disconnect this three connector for the fan and LED one aside and the thermal pads the thickness of the thermal pads is thermal pad thickness is one millimeter okay next to remove these plates, you have to unscrew four screw. One, two, three, four. You need a screwdriver like this one, which is a long one, so that it could reach. It's quite deep. Okay, lift up the plates. The heat sink there's no screw for the heat sink you can just lift up the heat sink like so and the fan three fan so to remove the fan just three screw on each fan
To clean the heatsink and the PCB, I normally use a paintbrush and an air blower. This one I recommend X Power 500 watt air blower. To clean the residue of the thermal paste, I, I recommend 99.9% isopropyl alcohol. Never use a 70% alcohol because it doesn't dissipate quickly. This one dissipates and dries up quickly. It's more safer to use. Time to put it back together. First we have to replace the thermal pads. By the way, the thermal pads I'm using is an Arctic thermal pads. And the thermal paste is Arctic MX4 and also there's another one that I recommend the Noctua N2 H2 and also the SYY thermal paste.
have to test the fan if it is doesn't catch it with a screw. Looks good. To make sure it, it sits properly and place the bracket. And attach the PCB. Make sure you have to connect the three connectors first. Last one, the back plate. That's the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.